and, and, and Daniel, there are some outstanding issues that could possibly hinder this team performance. There's more we could do for them, isn't it? Yeah, and that's why when you started by saying that one area where the GFA have done well is the Black Wings. They've not done well. They haven't done well. Hold on, ma hold ma on. Relax. Hold on. Majority of their job when it comes to the national team is towards administration and management. Mm -hmm. In that line, they've not done well at all. Because the basic things they are supposed to provide to the, uh, the team for them to be able to succeed, they've not done. When it comes to coaching and the application and tactical and whatever, that is not a haptel. So the coaching has been good and we are getting results from that line. What the GFA is supposed to do with the national team, that's the Black Wings, they've not done. It's to all the players when it comes to bonuses. That one, you can even scrap it. Pay DMs. They are not paying the girls pay DMs. To be fair, that's not goes... a GFA problem, though. So it's a that's a ministry problem. Wait. Who is supposed to go to the ministry to get the money for the The girls? GFA is supposed to tell the ministry this is how much you are supposed to pay the girls. Mm -hmm. The agreement on bonuses were agreed with the ministry mm -hmm. through the GFA. Okay. Uh, the paying body is the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Okay. Now, has the GFA asked them to pay? Yes. Does the ministry know how much they owe the girls? Yes. Okay. Why aren't they paying? So, if, if I am the GFA... Yes. Yes, I'm not the one who dishes out the cash. Yes. As at November 1st this year, I knew that I owed the girls for three matches. Three rounds. Three rounds. Yeah, so That's six matches. games. Six yes, games. Six games. Yeah. So, bonuses, per DMs, I know. But DMs are even paying them. Let's even say bonuses. So I'm able to go to the ministry again. Yes. And they are able to give me, uh, what, $8.5 million for the Black Stars. Yes. I use three million. In fact, out of five million. Out of million. five million that was. They have given. returned two million. They've it's lying returned there. Returned two million. It's lying there. It's there. But they still haven't. And that same body can't go to the ministry and tell them that, look, we have a senior women's national team who are on the verge of making history by qualifying us to the Olympics. So get that money today and make sure that they get us. They've told telling. them. And the people have still putting their money in... They yeah, are not doing your job. In their armpit. Have we not seen the FA, not, maybe not this FA, but any FA in this country, pre-finance anything for the Black Stars before payment comes through? That is a... You see, listen, I'm not trying to hold brief for the GFA. No, no, you're doing your job. Matter. Yes, you're, you're doing your but job. for educational purposes. Now, when it comes to women's football, and this is where I have a big problem, especially with our Ministry of Youth and Sports. They are a Black Stars ministry. When it comes to, especially junior teams mm -hmm. and women's teams, yeah. the GFA finance everything except flights. So as the girls are in camp, GFA is paying. And the 20 are in camp also preparing for Africa Games. GFA is paying. Yeah. Uh, princesses are in camp. GFA is paying. No, there's money for that, so it's not like... No, no but I'm saying mm -hmm. that they, they are taking care of certain costs that good. they can take care of. That's their job. Yes. That's their, so I'm saying that their responsibility, they are delivering. Mm -hmm. The ministry is the one reneging on their own responsibility. The GFA doesn't pay bonuses. But in terms of these camp issues, like you said, all these things come from the FIFA forward money. So yeah. there's money for there's it. Money and for the GFA it, yeah. is doing it. Mm -hmm. It's doing their bit. Mm -hmm. Where the ministry needs to come in, that's where they are letting the girls down. So on the issue of women's football, on the issue of especially junior teams, when it comes to their bonuses, per DMs, that's on the ministry. When it comes to other issues like camping and all these other things, the GFA is taking care of every single one of those things. On that score, credit to them. But the ministry has failed spectacularly. And for me, that's my disappointment. Yeah. Because you've come from Abidjan with a $2 million surplus from what they gave you for the Black Stars. And you owe this girl, each of them, just $7,500 that you are supposed to pay, that you've always known you're supposed to pay because you made the agreement with them. In fact, their bonuses were 5000 They slashed it by half to 2500 And the girls agreed. The girls agreed. Yeah, yeah. Per round, not even per game. Per round. So if they play home and away and they qualify and they win that tie, they get 2,500. They played four ties now. Okay, two in the women's AFCON yeah. qualifiers, which mm -hmm. they qualified, and then two in the Olympics so far. Yeah. The, so four. They paid one, the very first game against Guinea. And they owe them for three rounds. 
That's not on the GFA. To be fair, Fent, you that's on no, the ministry. No, Fent, you see, my point is... And they have the money. That's the disappointment. Fent, I'm They're holding from, on to it. Look, I'm coming from the angle where we all know that when it comes to women's football, the seriousness is not as much as when it comes yes. to... Yes. So it is the responsibility of the parent, that is GFA, yeah. to let the ministry understand that we need equal attention. If the ministry have sat down for months and they are not paying them, they are telling me it's the ministry, so you are there. How is the FA able to convince the GFA? The girls can't bypass I have a question. How do you think that they've owed black queens, black princesses bonuses since 2016? We've had three GFA. Hold on. We've had three GFA But they all place premium on the black stars. Thank you. It's not only a matter of... Yes, my point. It's not only a matter of the ministry. Yeah, the ministry are the paying masters through the uh, finance ministry, the council, the sports ministry, everything. But the posture of our FAs over the time, over time, has consistently shown that they care little or care less about youth football and women's football. And it's that posture of our FAs that the ministry also looks at and, and, and realizes that they don't necessarily have to commit so much funds to it. But why is it that they place lots of premium on the black stars and they get the monies for ministries on the black stars? I think it's a, it's a whole... It's a whole approach thing from see, the and, Daniel, and this is the it's other thing that thing this is the other thing that will disappoint you, especially when it comes. Did you guys all know that apart from the um, and that's why for me, like there are certain things I, I give the FA a little bit of credit. Yeah. And especially, and I, I repeat, especially when it comes to our youth teams and our women's teams, because the ministry does not even pay salaries for any other national team coach apart from the Black Stars. Black Stars, they don't find their money. But when it comes to other... They owe them a lot of time. Yes, so. but when it, come, no, when it comes to other youth teams and women's teams coaches, the ministry doesn't care. Because they are not contracted. So that's... Are they? Now they are. And the, and the, and the GFA are the ones paying. Yes. But so they're not significant... I get it. So they're not significant fees. But I'm saying that there is a point where we have to give them some credit. And I'm saying the government has not shown that it's in itself very interested in developing the football at the grassroots level where it really matters. They're just like the FA, where they're only interested in what happens at the very top. Because who spends $3 million for three matches yeah. at the AFCON yeah. and comes back with $2 million and you have it knowing fully well that you owe black queens. You even use their account to receive the money. You receive their money and you are I'm, keeping it. I'm, you know, the FA can complain, but yeah. they can't go and force the minister to release the no, money. No, no, but what I'm, saying is, what I'm saying is very simple. The ministry have got their problems. And, and, and the they are, why, in this matter, they, they are, are the they problem. Have a problem. And there's a reason why... Sports across the country is not thriving. It's not only a football matter. Thank you. And the reason why sports is yes, not thriving exactly. is because the ministry exactly. is not working well. So that's fine. But I'm saying that the FA is able to some way, somehow, get a ministry to pay attention to the black stars. Why it's not easier if the, 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 the interests align. It's, it's easier when the interests align. No, no, no. But, no, but in, the, in this Friends, case... It's about posture. It's, it's about posture. It's yourself to show me you are not serious yeah, about Yeah, you're not serious I about it. Not. But why would they hire Nora Haptel and pay her? to deliver the results she's delivering, if they didn't care about it. No, but they, they, hired, they hired Milo to go to... No, they hired the coach. Me. Yeah, hiring the coach, they hired... And uh, they paying the coach who? No, yes, but of course, the coach is going to work for free. Hiring the coach doesn't mean that you're serious. It's a lot, it's a lot more than that. <laughs> it's a lot more than that. It doesn't, we, show, no, I, it doesn't show any level of serious. I'm a fan, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so Daniel, sorry I had to catch you. But you can... You can you can finish your point. Your point is still valid. No, I'm saying it's not fair. Yes, it's and not. I agree. Yeah, me yeah. personally, you can go to the ministry. I see the GFA as a parent, and if you are able to do that for your first child, you are supposed to be able to do that for your That's second child, That's especially true. when the thing has prolonged this long. So the black queens are going into the game on Friday, knowing that they are doing us a favor. They are doing it for free because there's no guarantee that we'll get their money. There's no guarantee that we will campaign for, their... for them to get their money. No, we'll campaign, but we can only talk. That's true. But if you say it's ministry and the GFA2 will sit in the yeah. corner and say lobby. it's lobby, we, we have to force them. them. Yeah. Let's organize another demo because if we want to lobby, when the black stars did it, the... yeah. we... this is not fair. It's really not fair. Now, if the girls, if the girls in the last minute said they are not turned up for the game, people will tell you they are not patriotic, but that's not the point. Yeah. That is it so disrespectful to them, so, so unfair to them. And these same ladies will read that the Black the Stars only have national spent team, 3 million US dollars. The only national team that has given us joy over the past year. The only national team that want to, they can't, they can't get their money. It's the Queens, to be fair. Yeah. No, I don't get it. No, fair. And the Princess, much, because they also just qualify for 
Uh, they are also old. Though. Of one course. Black, one Black Stars player gets 10,000 before kicking a ball. 20,000. 20,000. 20, yeah. Before kicking a ball. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like the right. Black Queens, after giving us joy, after qualifying for AFCON, after yes. almost qualifying for Olympics, they can't get their money. They are going to play on Friday. So we should talk about the match. So what, what, what should, like from now to Friday, what are they doing? And you see, the thing is that it's not even, the disappointing thing is that it's not even any money. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, too much is, the 100,000 they went to share in Qatar. The 100,000. All of that. Yeah. Then you say I shouldn't blame Effie. And so, yeah, I mean... You will let's proceed. It's not, it's not nice. Yeah, All right. Uh, Friday, we will be there. 5 p.m. against Zambia uh, on Friday. Listen, go and support the girls. I was speaking to a Black Queens player just before I came on there. She said she's been... They've been very overwhelmed by the amount of support that uh, people... And the amount of interest people have shown towards this game. And um, they will give their absolute best. Trust me. Zambia will not be easy. They are one of the best teams on the continent. They were at the last World Cup. They were at the last Olympic Games. They have the most expensive player in, 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 in women's football history. They have Barbara Banda. But then again, you know, these queens, these queens have faced Asisad Oshwala at the Accra Sports Stadium. And I saw, the, I saw her look completely, completely useless in, in, that, in that particular match, uh, even though... Uh, they, they beat the Queens to qualify. And that was the last women's half con qualified, the last round of, I think uh, that's Jennifer Kujo, by the way. And that's uh, uh, lots of, the, I, I love these videos. I love these videos. Uh, really beautiful. Uh, and that's the physio. And that's uh, Madame uh, Abiba to Silemana as well, uh, goalkeeper's trainer. Uh, lots of, most of these people play professionally abroad. So uh, if the GFA, is doing arrival videos for blasters. It's very important to do arrival videos for the queens. Well. So this. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is equal treatment. So credit to the FA. They do this for the blasters. They are doing it for the queens. Yeah, I'm happy. Daniel the and, and, and Situ are not impressed. It's a bare minimum. <laughs> bare what? It's a bare minimum. The blasters, we don't want to see them. So they shouldn't, we don't want to see them. Arrival video for what? For it to go and go and disgrace us and come back. This world I don't want to see. We calm don't even want to see calm them. Calm down, calm down. No, it doesn't make sense. Calm this down. is a senior women's national team. Okay. Ah, look at the World Cup that they just held. Look at the World Cup that look at teams were parading. Superstar treatment. Hey, come here, you are not going to pay them, but you say talk about Friday's match. We are supposed to open free gate for us to we should, then when they finish and they qualify, what are you going to do? There's no guarantee. You finish and tell me that it's a ministry, so you are there. Wow. Okay, then the K is not impressed. Jordan are you her sport. <laughs> yeah, Jordan.